In this lesson I'm going to teach you how to use V-Ray Sun and Sky in order to achieve different kind of illumination during the day. Okay, so first let's position our sun in the scene. Go to lightning, V-Ray, V-Ray Sun and click and drag to position it. Now we are asked to put, if you want to put the V-Ray Sky environment map we say yes, and if we go to rendering environment, we can see now our, now our uh, default ray sky, V-ray sky in the environment slot. Okay. Now let's position our sun in about 45 degrees in the sky. Alt W to enlarge. Okay. Let's go to perspective mode and in order to see our sun direction we need to go from shaded mode to realistic mode. Okay, make sure that lighting and shadows is illuminated with scene light. Okay, so we can see now how the shadow is uh, spread across the scene and we can go and change it as we like. That's about uh, okay for now. Now our second step would be to put our V-Ray physical camera. So in the top view, go to cameras, V-Ray, V-Ray physical camera. And again, click and drag. Okay. Press C to go to camera view and position the camera as you see fit. Let's put it a bit closer. Okay. So let's see what we've got. We'll make a test render now. So we can see that uh, our image is quite bright and uh, if we want to change the brightness we need to go to our camera settings. So with our camera selected go to modify and in here we have three main parameters that control the amount of exposure like in real life camera. So the first one will be the F number, the second will be the shutter speed, and the third will be the film speed. For now we're, we're just going to change our shutter speed to a, low, to a higher value. The higher the value, the less amount of light come into the camera. So our picture will be uh, darker. Okay, so let's put 250 and let's check our difference you can see now the difference between the two exposures if we want to change the contrast of the image on the fly we can do so by clicking the show correction control and use color curve correction. Now we can tweak it a bit, a bit dark and the high tones, a bit more. Okay, just to give it a bit more contrasty look. Now let's try a different position of the sun, like in uh, the afternoon. So go to our sun. and bring it down a bit like so maybe a bit more 
Okay. You can see that just by changing the sun direction, the overall exposure is much more darker because the light is lower in the, this kind of angle and the colorization is changed too. But notice that our shadow are still quite sharp. We need to make it more blurry. You can see some examples here how the shadow is more uh, blurred when the sun is go down. So in order to do so, we need to go to our sun. Let's move it away. RW. After we uh, check the sun, we go to modify. And in the size multiplier, let's make it 4. When, the, the, when our sun is larger, the shadow will be blurrier. Don't mind the noisiness of the image because we are now in low uh, quality settings. So let's try a different kind of lightning, like in evening or twilight situation. So again, we bring our sun more down about this high. Okay. And the size multiplier, let's make it 8. And let's check it again. So again, we can see that our uh, image is much more darker and the color of the image is yellowish but what if you want to make it like an evening image like this example you can see that the image is much more purple much more red. so to change this it's very simple we need to go to our camera again select the camera go to modify and in here you can see the custom balance this is actually the white balance of the camera like in real world so in order to uh, make the image more bluish for example we need to select the opposite color which would be around the yellow color so let's grab something very light you don't need like a very strong yellow color yellowish let's see the change let's bring up the contrast a bit and let's uh, maybe I don't know, make something more purplish. So you need to select the green color. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please feel free to leave me a comment below. I will be happy to hear what you think about this uh, video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for upcoming videos. Hope to see you soon. Bye.